Hi, this is Paul from Dirt Space Learning. Let's have a look at completing the square. As usual, I'll use our online classroom and our lesson slides to go through the topic and look at some questions. Check out the links at the end of the video for access to loads of free resources and information on our one-to-one -one tuition. Let's have a look at the question. It says write x squared plus 6x plus 17 in the form x plus a all squared plus b, where a and b are integers. So this means we need to write this in the completed square form. And to do that, we first need to find the closest perfect square we can. So let's do that by taking the coefficient of x and halving it. So if we half 6, we get 3. That means that the closest perfect square is x in a bracket plus 3, and then the whole bracket is squared. So let's expand this bracket out. If we expand this, we can see that the perfect square is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Remembering that when we have a bracket squared, that's a double bracket, so we need to expand out carefully. Now let's compare that to the original expression. Well, the original expression is x squared plus 6x plus 17. Now what do we have to do to the perfect square to give the original expression? Well, we have to add on 8 to it. So that means that the completed square format is x plus 3 all squared, which was the perfect square, and then to change that into the original expression, we just add 8 to it. So let's see where those marks come from. We get one mark for a, which is 3, and one mark for b, which is 8. Now, let's have a look at part b. It says, write the coordinates of the turning point of the graph y equals x squared plus 6x plus 17. Now, that's the same equation that we have just rewritten in the completed square format. So let's write that as y equals x plus 3 squared add 8. Now, we can see that because this is a positive quadratic, that the graph will be a U-shape. So the turning point will be at this point here. At that point, we want Y to be as small as it possibly can be. Well, to get Y as small as it can be, we're going to need this bracket to be as small as it can be. And the smallest thing that this bracket can be is zero, because when we square anything, we can't get a negative answer. So this bracket, at its lowest point, must be zero. That means that the turning point, the y value, is 8. So if we open up a pair of coordinates here, the y value is 8. Now, if x plus 3 equals 0 at the lowest point, that means that x must be negative 3. So that means that negative 3 is the x value. And the turning point is negative 3, 8. And that's worth a mark. Now over to you. Check out the links in the description below for step-by-step -step examples, questions, worksheets, and tons of free resources to help you practice. You'll also find information on our one-to-one -one personalized maths tuition. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest third-space learning videos.